I don't care if uh, we stay in contention all the way down to the, uh, they have the playoffs. Uh, we've got to start uh, showing our fans, more, more importantly showing ourselves that we can do the things to win the games. I love that Jerry Jones makes himself so available to the media. If I was a Cowboys fan, I would hate it. Every week, it's something else. Every week, it's another effort to try to pull the court on the lawnmower and get this team turned around, and nothing is working. And it wasn't working last night for the Cowboys beyond the first drive. They had the great first drive, and then they had some, some good plays and some touchdowns and points in garbage time. In between, it was all bears. It was three and out, three and out, three and out, over and over again for the Dallas Cowboys, and it's a testament to the Bears, but it's also an indictment of the Cowboys coaching staff, their inability or their reluctance to even try to make adjustments on the fly. They just think they go out and they run their plays and they run their defense, and it's all very simple, and we're good enough to just go out there and win through sheer force of physicality and will, and it just doesn't work, and it's not working, whether it's a failure of coaching whether the players aren't as good as Jerry Jones thinks they are, whether they're very talented individually, but they don't come together and play as a team like the Patriots would, there's a problem with the Cowboys. And yeah, they're still in first place in the NFC East by a half game over the Philadelphia Eagles, but at some point they have to win again. I don't think the Cowboys are going to win the division if they finish 6-10, and 10, although there is a way that that can actually happen. They're going to have to win at some point. And if they do end up winning the division by default, what the hell are they going to do when the 49ers or the Seahawks show up in the wild card round, Big Cat? Well, Jerry can tell everyone that they got to the playoffs and Jason Garrett got them to the playoffs. You bring up a good point. Jerry Jones trying to get, you know, rally the troops every single game after every single disappointing loss. Why doesn't he try something different? Why does he not talk to the media? Why doesn't he walk by the media and say, no comment, I'm that mad? Maybe that would help. Uh, to your other point, Mike, in terms of the Cowboys and where they go from here and, and what the season looks like, I'm going to throw it back to you and ask you this question. If the Cowboys were in a division right now with a team that had 10 wins and they were already not eliminated from the playoffs, but maybe one game away, do you think that Jason Garrett would still be the coach? Because this no. is such a weird situation where a team is floundering, absolutely floundering. And when I look at teams late in December or, you know, mid-December, late December, it's all about, to me, the defensive intensity. And if guys want to tackle, that means the team is still bought in and still wants to win. The Cowboys did not want to tackle last night. And you see it with some teams where they just kind of say, you know what? We're close to week 14, 15, 16. We're just going to kind of get our way to the offseason. So you think that the only reason Jason Garrett still has a job is because the Cowboys are still somehow in first place, even though they've been so pathetic. Yeah, if the Eagles were as good this year as they should have been, if they hadn't been racked by injuries at pretty much every position except quarterback – and we're running away with it, I think Garrett would be gone and Jerry Jones would pick the assistant coach that he is most intrigued by as a potential coaching candidate for next year and just give the guy a chance to coach his way into the job. Show me what you can do, Chris Richard, or even Kellen Moore, who still looks like he walked out of eighth grade uh, science class. I mean, give one of those guys a chance because the reason Garrett is still on the job is because they're still alive. They still theoretically have the chance to to get to the playoffs and make noise there. And, you know, for, for his, we still don't understand quite how the bears have done it. I mean, it's easy after the fact to go back and look at what they did, but, but before it began, we didn't think it was ever going to happen. That's how we feel about the Cowboys now. So you never know when it's going to emerge. Will it be next week against the Rams? Will it be the next week against the Eagles? It's got to be one of those two weeks or they're not going to the playoffs. But, but, you know, Jerry Jones has allowed himself to have, as you said last week, the fan mentality, that it's not over, we're not out of it, and we're just going to hope that something changes. But when you look at all the objective evidence, there's no reason to think anything will. Yeah, they, they, you know what they actually remind me of a little bit right now is uh, the 2017 Atlanta Falcons when they kept on saying, you know, we haven't played our best game yet. And I made the joke over and over, well, I'm still waiting for their best game. Like, I went into 2018 wondering if the Falcons had played their best game in 2017 yet. The Cowboys have that feel to them where the talent is there and you look at the roster and you scratch your head and say, when is this going to click? And guess what? It may never click. They might just finish the season losing out and still have be alive in week 16 or week 17. And you're saying to yourself, is it going to click? 
Yeah, and this is the first time Jerry Jones has put together a highly talented team, but something is keeping that team from being as good as it can be. And frankly, at some point, you have to ask whether or not that thing that is keeping the team from being as good as it can be is Jerry Jones. And I don't know that he would ever engage in that type of an evaluation of himself because he isn't going to fire himself as the GM of the team, but that may be one of the reasons why this team is struggling. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.